What's going on everybody? Perry from LiveX here, and I'm not even gonna tell you what the video is about because you know what the background means, right? I really hope you do, because it means it's another unboxing video. Really excited about this one. Very similar to a couple other products that we've been looking at from KiloView, but one stark difference. The E2, rather than the E, or against the E1, will use HDMI rather than SDI. So let's stop talking about it, or at least let's stop talking about it in the box. Let's open it up and unbox the KiloView KV E2. All right, let's do it. Now, KiloView boxes are tough cardboard, so they are kind of tough to open, and lots of styrofoam. Lots and lots of styrofoam. But it's not like you're, you're shedding styrofoam, it's like the nice, I don't even know what you would call it, foam? Uh, Tempur-Pedic foam, if you will. Um, and then there's a device. There it is. You get your nice orange encoder, H.264, HDMI encoder, and we'll go through it in just a minute. So we're gonna leave that in a static bag. And then your usual Kilo View documentation, you have your support, you have your technical con uh, contact info, you have your warranty card, and then if you flip this over the proper way, your quick start guide, revision number three from 2017. Power, and as all of you know, there's a story behind it and you're never gonna find it out, your silica packet. Don't eat those. All right, let's keep going. Let's open it up, shall we? Anti-static bag, very, very nice. Do not rub your feet on the carpet and then decide to touch one of these because you will no longer have a kilo of UE2. Okay, static bag over here, very, very nice. And there we have it. Nice blue, it's labeled E2, perfect. So we know we have the right item. H.264 HDMI encoder, as we were saying, and if we take a look a little bit closely at it, you have your Ethernet, which is also power over Ethernet. You have HDMI in, your HDMI loop out. 3.5 millimeter audio, in case you do not want to have embedded audio from your HDMI, boom, you can use one of those. You also have a USB, which is also power if you want to take this and mount it on top of a camera. There you go straight out of the battery or straight out of the camera via USB into this, boom, you're powered. That's if you don't have a power strip. If you have a power strip, you have a 12 volt power. That's your friend. Flipping it over, whoop, you have two USB ports right on the back. Um, you have your power, you have a reset button, which you will need a paperclip for and you have your micro SD card, which supports up to 512 gigs. Really, really nice to, that they even have that. And what you would do, and it's, it's in your quick start guide, we can open this up lightning fast here. If we take a really quick look, you have all of your indications for what your lights mean. It's all right here, but if you flip it over, it tells you about how to get it connected to the internet, how you can log on in, and how you can get everything set up for um, being able to log into it and say like, okay, we want to stream here, or we want to stream there, or we want to record while we stream. So that's something really, really cool about these encoders is you can, um, in, you know, instead of having to take this and encode it to go to a separate machine, and then stream from there, you can literally just stream straight to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, whatever your RTMP stream is, and you're done. Bring it in via HDMI. If you wanna not embed audio, you just bring in your 3.5 millimeter, and out to the internet, out to the world, just as we are on YouTube, just we are not live. Not yet. Shh. The world may never know. Well, maybe. So really, really cool device, getting back on topic here. Really, really cool device, really, really powerful. Um, and it's really neat that they give you two options. The E1, which has the SDI, and then the E2 has the HDMI. So you have your options, You have, and the fact that they give you the two different options is very handy, and to be honest, um, very nice for different levels of production companies that, you know, if some people are still very much on the HDMI train versus the SDI train, this is very, very handy to give that option. That being said, I think that's gonna do it. I think, I think we've covered it, and if you have uh, 
used the KiloView KVE2? Let us know in the comments down below and let us know what your experience has been with this or even the E1, which has just the SDI. That's the only difference. I, yeah, really cool device. Can't wait to use this one. Um, if you want to see more of these unboxing videos, don't forget to subscribe and give the thumbs up because we know, we know that you like these videos. We know it. So just, you know, give it a thumbs up. Click the bell if you want to get notifications when we post more of these with that fancy background. But if you want more content on other social media platforms, LiveX Production is what you search for, and then you click follow, like. I don't know if any of the other ones say subscribe, but do it anyway. Just do it. Just go ahead and do it. But uh, that's going to do it. Yeah. I'm Perry from LiveX with another uh, unboxing. We're going to see you next time.